Welcome. In front of me is a Kruger and Matt's Flow 6, and today I will show you how to bypass the Google verification screen. So as you can clearly see, the device in front of me is already locked. And to begin the process, we're going to go back to the first page and make sure you're connected to network before you begin this. So once you are connected to the network, go to the first page and then select the merchant, actually not and select the language and choose any language that is just not uh, using the query uh, letter scheme. So for instance, Greek works just well enough. Um, so once you change it, Russian can work too as well. Um, so it just needs to have its own alphabet basically. So from here, tap on the emergency call and then choose the top to add number, edit, and then right here. Now it doesn't matter what you choose right here. Um, what you want to do is have a pop-up where you get to write something. So once it pops up or whatever you choose uh, and you have the keyboard, hold space. And number one, switch it to QWERTY because we're gonna need it later on. And then hold it once more. And then choose the bottom option right here. And then tap on the bottom. Again, tap on whatever, doesn't matter. And uh, tap on the three dots and go into help and feedback, which is the second option from the drop down. And in the help and feedback, you want to tap right here in search and type in Morse. And this is the first thing that is going to pop up. Use Morse code. So select that. And that's also the reason why we need internet. Otherwise, it would not show up uh, this video. So tap on play. It's going to kind of like load, give you the three dots right here, tap on them and then choose for a watch later. Give it a moment, it should open up the browser. And there it is. So confirm it that we accept the terms of service. OK, and then we don't want to log into Google. So choose this option right here. And from here, tap on the search bar and we're going to navigate into hard reset.info website. There we go. Then tap on the menu right here. Download. Oops. Download. Then in the download field, you want to search for Android 8. There we go, Android 8, and search for it. And scroll down. Tap on download. Once more, scroll down and tap on the download again yep confirm it uh again confirm it and now comes a little problem oh there it is so tap on ok and it actually has downloaded it now uh, before i press the open button there is a little thing that i want to mention that i encountered a few times already um, Sometimes it doesn't want to download it. If you go into the download right here in the drop down menu and choose right here, this option, it will show you the download it, right? And for me, it's already downloaded, right? But sometimes it will be at 100% and it will never want to finish. If you have this problem, just cancel this, just tap the X that we would have normally right here to cancel this, go back and hold this option and choose the second option right here. It opens it up in a, a new incognito tab and automatically pops up with a download. You can tap on it and then it will download like a charm. So I can just actually disregard it. I already have it. So let's go back. I'm going to go back and open it up from here. Now, before we can install it, we actually need to get grant access to it. So choose the option on the right, uh, check this on and go back. 
and now tap on install, which is um, just as an example or as an explanation, every op uh, option that is uh, confirming something is located on the right side while denial is usually on the left side. So to basically progress further, you almost always want to choose whatever is on the right side. Like right now, that's open. Um, and from here, once you are in the app, uh, choose Google Account Manage APK Install and select for version 6.0. Again, on the right to install and we need to allow this again. Go back and install. And now that this has installed, once it's installed, we can't actually open it. Uh, there will be only option to close it. So we want to close it anyway. Um, so done. And now choose the second option, bypass FRP and choose browser sign in. And from here, tap on the three dots and choose the only option that is visible, which is browser sign in. Uh, confirm it by tapping on OK. And log in to your Google account. So I'm going to provide mine. And then tap on next. And then put in the password. I'm going to that off the screen. And then tap on login. So you'll see that it's logging in right now and it will take you back to the bypass FRP app. So from here, you want to hold the power key and select reboot, which is the second option. Confirm it and wait for the device to reboot. And we will be then back in the setup screen. So once you're in here, let's choose a language and let's select English or language that you like to use. Um, didn't it select? There we go. Okay. So once you're selected the language that you want to, let's continue on. Now I'm going to skip most of this. Um, it doesn't really matter how you set up your device at this moment. Uh, we're going to perform a additional hard reset of the device. So and you can see there is the account that we have provided before the restart of the device. And normally right here you have to confirm the previous account and right now it detects the one that we put in as a account added so I just tap on next skip not now skip anyway no thanks I agree and no thanks again So once you are on the home screen, you want to go into the settings. Let's go all the way down to um, where is going to be system. Yep, system, and then reset options, and choose erase all data, factory reset, and tap on reset. And as you can see, basically what this will do is uh, you will remove your Google account, uh, which is basically also kind of like some remains of the previous account, uh, system up data and settings, downloaded apps, music, photos, and other user data. It will basically clean up your entire device of anything that was previously on this device and it will be fresh uh, new device without any kind of uh, problems from previous, uh, previously logged in account. So just tap on reset and then erase everything and fail at it because the battery is not 30%. So uh, let me just check if I can actually do this if it's plugged in. Um, cancel and let's try. Okay, now so unfortunately I cannot perform this, but all you need to do is, uh, well, assuming your battery is at 
30 or more percent. Uh, you'll just tap on erase everything. The process will begin. It will remove and then we should be or you should be back in the Android setup screen. But this time around, you can skip basically everything or set up your device as however you like and everything will work just fine. There is no need for bypassing anymore. Once you reach the uh, Google uh, page, if you choose to uh, connect to network, you can just use any kind of Google account to log in, not like confirm it. You will just be able to log in now and the device will be fully unlocked. Unfortunately, the, because of the battery, I'm not able to show you that to the full extent, but yeah. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.